time you just ask somebody like, who is the person? I'm a, my, my Instagram bio says I'm established in 1993. That's when I was born. <laughs> and it says I'm a music maker. So producer, composer, arranger, piano player, whatever you want to call it. Uh, anything involving making music, I try to do my best at it. Somebody that puts things together in my eyes, like somebody who takes an idea or whether it be a sound or a hook or a verse or something, they create something, whether it be, you know, through sending it to an artist or, or I mean, or, or any, any other artist, or sending it to any other creative person and creating something. As soon as you do that, to me, you produce something. Creative freedom, I guess, like, is, is a pro to me. Um, yeah, another pro, I guess, is like, um, being like, being able to, to somewhat be, it's like, like a democracy, I guess, like, you, you could be like the president, in a sense, but, but it's, it's still a democracy, and a, and a good president chooses, you know, to listen to, you know, government or listen to the people you know, in the population and say, hey, like, what do you guys think about this? And then make an executive decision. Like, that's the pro of a producer. Another pro is you, you get you get get a lot of money from it. But uh, a con to that is the fact that, well, two cons. Two cons, you, you have to work, I guess, when it comes to developing things, harder than a lot, you know, harder than the artist, harder than the a and harder than the DJ at, at some point. But then you also, like, uh, you have to, you know, you spend most of the hours, but, you know, the pro is that you make a lot of money. Also, the con is that it's very slow. But, it's a lot of it, but it's slow. So you gotta, you know, I, was doing, I, was doing, I was doing the same shit I was doing now, like, I was playing piano, I was studying jazz. Well, I was doing it a lot more then, but studying jazz and doing all that to get, like, to, to the point of, like, Understanding what it meant to like really be a creative person and like how to improvise and like how to roll with the punches. I guess like that kind of was like life before school and like after school, like same thing. And then like now it's just like I decided to use everything I learned from jazz and like playing my instrument and working with other musicians and other people to to do it with artists. Like today, what people call today, like artists and singers and songwriters and use the same tactics like that, I mean that's pretty much life after do there. I don't play jazz as much as I did when I was in school or before I did school but like now like you know that that knowledge the theoretical knowledge the like creative knowledge you get from that I'm able to use it you know multiple ways when I create a song like just a bunch of musical background knowledge you have that helps me in my life after do there. Uh, it's um, I fell in love with music. I was playing piano. My parents put me in piano at like six. I hated it up until like I got <laughs> until like eleven. I wanted to play sports and all that shit. Like I wanted to be a football player. I wanted to like um, you know be like all the kids, like all my homies, like that played sports. But I was like I was fat as a kid. Like I was like, I was scared of like contact sports and shit like that. So like. Um, it wasn't until like, you know, they, they put me in music, I didn't really like it, but my piano teacher was like, yo, he's really good at like playing piano, like keep him in, because I was winning like state championships and shit like that, like playing like little songs. It wasn't that serious, it was like people that was like six, seven years old playing little Asian kids and shit, and shit like I was like doing good. So she was like, no, keep him in, like he's, he's really good. And so then, um, like once I got to, they put me in the middle school for the arts, which was La Villa, and at that point, um, that's when I started going to jazz band. And my teacher started telling me like, hey, like you don't have to play the music that's on the page, just like kind of kind of figure it out. Like you can kind of do like, what, like use the page as a guideline. And that just opened my eyes to like, what it meant to be like creative. Like what it meant to like create your own thing. And I was already playing in church and like stuff. And, like, so I kind of got a, a feel like of how to like play, you know, by ear and stuff like that. So, uh, I already having like a kind of developed ear and then knowing how to read music I was able to say like oh, okay like I know how to like you know, use technical things and then like soulful and like emotional things to like combine them into something like which I was learning was jazz and so that really was the point where I fell in love with music when I learned how to like take what I learned technically and like 
put it in some of the most in the world. That's why. I, I met Gaylani in my, my third year in school, I think. It was like spring break. Nick Cannon at the time was her manager. We flew her to New York to work the studio I was working at. And the dude who I was working with, like, he's a kid. So, like, he uh, was like, yo, you should play that beat for Kaylani. And I was like, all right, cool. So I went and played the beat. At the time, it was a song that we ended up making called Getaway. And uh, from there, like, it was just a rap. Like, it's always, like, making music, making music. We did Cloud 19, you should be here. And now, like, her album. And, like, this has been a journey. Uh, it was amazing. Like, I walked in the studio. Like, they, the, the A room, it just opened, the door just opened. And I was just like, it was like a regular day, I was walking in, like, and I just heard somebody sing. I was like, yo, who the hell is that singing in there? And I go in, and it was like, it was like, oh, it's this girl, Kehani. And I was like, she's fire. It's the most fire verse, I, like, voice I ever heard in here. There's it it been mad people in that, that place. And, like, y'all so used to hearing, like, the same kind of voice and the same, like, singing and all that. But, like, like her voice was just, like, beautiful. And, and at that point, I just was like, yo, like, I really fucked with her. Really, how, how it went down. Um, well, getaway. I mean, it was just like I brought. I already had that beat pretty much finished. So like, she just came in and wrote the song, and then like went in there and recorded it. And then the same thing with lock it up. It was like it was, it's all, we never really had to like force nothing. So like, just lock it up. Like I just had the beat. Like I sent it to her and she wrote the song. And like that's how it really. It's, it's still to this day it goes like that. Like I make a beat. And I sent it to her and she'll just do it. Like, it is work. Yeah. It, it, we don't, it, ain't, it ain't as much like work I have to do. Like, when I actually have to like develop a record with somebody, it's pretty like, with her, it's kind of work. Most of the time. And I don't, it all, it all depends. Like, sometimes I'm inspired by like hearing something like in here. Like, I'm in here, like, um, like a song. And I'm like, Shazam or Ask Siri what it is. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, then maybe days later, I'm like, oh man, what's that song? And I go and try to like make something from that. Or maybe, like it'll be a homie, like a homie will be sending me some beats or like sending me some something of him like doing anything. Like maybe it's him playing his horn and him like singing or anything. It could be anything. I'm like, yo, bro, just send me that, like record that or, or like send me that file or whatever and I like make something from that. Or maybe like sometimes, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just inspired by like the things I see, like, seeing people. And I'm like, oh, I, I want to make this kind of song. Like that made me feel like this time. I like creating on planes a lot. For some reason, I like I like the feeling of like being above like everybody else, and, like like high, like just in the clouds, and, like somewhere where like it's only you and like these hundred people on this plane, like above, like at this altitude, al altitude, and then like looking outside. Like I like creating an atmosphere like that. Like, it's hard, but but I, I like doing it. I mean, I, I'm a more, I'm a more like, I don't create like, like visually, like at the computer. Like I know people like hit, like, uh, but but hit hit does both kind of like hit boy. Like I've I've seen hit boy work and like you know he kind of he plays, but like it's still like in the computer, like bringing stuff over, like like drawing stuff in, like vinyls. I've seen vinyl screens like that with him too. Like he don't even have a fucking one's computer right now. He just like take like take a sample and just start building like drums like like that. Um, I'm more of a like I have to. I'm a hands-on person. So like when I create, it takes me a. It takes me longer. Uh, but I'm a person like all right. I hear ideas and like that idea. Like my idea is never like a whole like like thing that I can just like filter up and like just throw some drums on. Most of the time it's not. Most of the time it's like something I'm like all right cool like. I may hear like somebody singing. I'm like, oh man, like if I take this riff, or, uh, riff or like if I replay this riff on the instrument, like that's like a good thing I can build something else off of. So like that's that's how I create most of the time. Like uh, it's just it's just like whatever inspires me at the time. Like I just take it and then like I have to like actually like play everything. In. Like I don't like to draw shit. In. Like maybe it's because I'm using logic too, but. But that's just how it works for me. Like, even if I, I feel like if I switch to Ableton or Fruity Loops, like, I still would be the same way. Like, I have to play, like, all my drums and, like, all the ideas I'm hearing in my head. Like, I have to, like, put them, like, in the grid myself. That's how I create. Oh, word. Man, um... Okay. Uh... 2000, I mean, not... I always say, Cloud, say 19. Cloud 19. Cloud 19 is, like... Just um, it's a short, short project. Like just feel good songs. Like uh, just Kaylani, like just writing good music. 
you should be here is like you know her like kind of forming to like doing like really personal things like becoming a little bit more personal with her right now uh, like a little bit more specific um, a little bigger dynamic and then now this album is like a lot more dynamic uh, I, I would almost say a little bit more per personal, and then um, just her branching out, like doing, doing, doing like exploring more, like genres, and doing more things that, like, that she always wanted to do. Like, just, she's a great artist. Like, she's really great at. Um, she's really great singer, really great songwriter. Like, has a wide range of things from like singing, rapping to like actually really singing. Like, so she she does so many different things. So like, it's just her diving into all those different bags that she. Has. she it's great. It's great. It's right on, right on. Can we get an album name drop or anything? I mean, she already said, like, you know, it's called Triple S. I'm not going to tell you what it means. Okay, okay, she, okay. She said, like, oh, my album Triple S. Like, she said it all the time. Okay. So, that's I feel like they got some relation to me because my name is Shruta Stanley. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. It, can be, it can mean whatever. Tell her. Tell her. It'd be like, my, my, I got triple. I got three answers for my name. <laughs> uh, I would say, I would say, getaway, getaway is. Is one for sure just because of how organic it was. I feel like that was like I, I was already doing work before, but like that really was like my thing like, that I like that I put together like musically, and then that like that, that like really like said, oh like this is really Jahan's sweet. So I would say that, and second probably the way the chance that we did, uh, just because of how that came together like organic, and it was just like you know very easy uh, going and. and Develop a good relationship for me and Chance, so uh, I would say that that probably was another one of my favorites. And then, and then I'm not gonna lie, it's not my, it's not my favorite, it's not my favorite beat that I made. But Zaddy, I feel like how that came together with Ty, like was so raw, like four in the morning, and like, like I mean, it was like maybe it was like three in the morning. Like he pulled up in the room, I'm working in Atlanta, okay, and shit. And, like, he came in, I was like, oh, what you doing? And we used to like talking, laughing, and I'm like going through beats, and he just stopped and I was like, yo, what's that? Like, anybody using that? And he just went in the booth and just recorded. Uh, that and Dollar. Like, he did both of those in one night, but Zaddy, I feel like how I came together, how people received it, and like me, like, it's just funny to see how I see things being, like, accepted, and how it's actually accepted, because to me, it was like, when I make that beat, I'm like, oh, like, this is just a cool, like, beat for somebody to ride to, and then I got friends, sending me like videos and shit of them playing in strip clubs and I'm just like damn that's so funny to me and uh I, I just like that probably is like one of my, my most favorite my, one of my most favorite joints I, I ever did. I got I got so many stories on the road but but uh shout out to my boy David Camarino my brother for life uh <laughs> That's my roommate, so like we've been we've been literally rooming since you should be here tour. Like, me and him was in the same hotel, first day of tour, and we still to this day live in the same apartment. And it's, it's just it's so funny. But uh so he's seen a lot of it. He, he he could probably tell you more stories than I could probably because I was too drunk to remember some of them. But um I don't know, like, uh, man, we've been everywhere. It's blessed, blessed to be able to go like all these places and like have music take you like all these places. And um, man, like, I, you know, I like I take it for granted sometimes because like it's just like so like constantly like oh we gotta go here, we gotta go here, we gotta go here. And because I got things that I want to do, you know, like I, I like I like to produce, I like to make music, I like to be a part of stuff like that. But it's also fun to like be on the road with your homies and like do all that stuff. So like I take it for granted sometimes. But um, but but when you really look back on it, it's just really a blessing to be like you know, Europe, like Eastern Europe, um, you know, Canada, you know, Florida. I mean, yeah, like all these different places in America, like all the time. Like, it's like we almost live in the airport. So anytime we get down downtown, it's like, ooh. But it's not really downtown because like when I get downtown, it's like time is like, oh, all right, cool. Like now you got all this time to be in the studio. Like, that and really like you know, uh, that's that's a beauty in itself too. I, I, don't, I don't do that well in the world. Like, no. like yeah, like, I, I've yet, I've yet to place place a record that I've made on the road. Like, yeah.
Like, I, it's just, it's just different when you can like sit in a place that you know you're gonna wake up at like every day for the next week or the next two weeks or yeah. however long it may be, and you can say like, oh, okay, I'm like stationary, and like, you can get into a routine or something, and know like, you know, it's like comfortable. But on the road, it's like, well, I like, fly all day, so even if you create on the plane, it's like hard to create on the plane. The altitude, your ears popping, and everything. So trying to create on the plane is hard. Then after flying all day, you didn't sleep. Time. Then you get off and like, oh, as soon as you get off, you got sound check in an hour, so you only got this much time to really like, you only got maybe 45 minutes to get in your room, like, to chill for a little bit, then you gotta go to sound check. At the sound check, uh, you got the show, then after the show, like, it's kinda like, oh, it's the after party, then after the party, like, it's the whole time I've been doing it. But, uh, but literally after the party, then it's like, all right, well, we got lobby call in an hour for, for the next place. So it's hard to make music on the road. It's hard to, like, really, like, zone in, like, find, like, you know, that creative, that creative vibe. And, and two, for me, like I said, like, I'm a hands-on person, so I can't just, like, sit there and, like, draw shit on the computer. Like, I actually like need to like hear like a loop. I'm like, Alright, cool. I know what to add, but like it's harder to do it like on the laptop or your keyboard, like playing the track or yeah, it's, it's just tough. So, creating on the road is hard, but it can be done. Yeah. I, I do it all the time. It's not successful, but <laughs> no. like, tell me one about no. nah, that. That was unexpected. Nah, I absolutely I, after after a while, like when I thought about it, like when I knew that uh the seed had been planted over there, I said, oh man, it could happen, but I, but while well, making it, nah, I never Oh, uh, we had a really bomb party, like, I was so late. It was, it was, well, actually, actually, probably the best party I've ever been a part of. Not even two, because I actually, we were a part of this party. The, that probably was the most fun party I've ever been a part of in my life. It was a very, very memorable party. Uh, after, I mean, I don't know, after, after this, get a little bit of respect, but it's, it's, it's still gotta work. Everybody got married. It's, 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 it's still a lot more to do. Uh, uh, um, to, to, to just, uh, just uh, same goals, like, to be the best that I can be, like, make the best music I can make. Um, I don't know. My, my goals didn't really change too, too much. Just other than I want to win. Oh, it's just um linking up with some um, homies at uh, Dev Jam, playing some some records for some people. Like, oh, like you know, like they just wanted some records. Like, and I was like, all right, cool. Um, a, a day in the life of J Sweet is probably uh when I'm not. Day day in the life of me is I wake up early all the time. I'm normally up early. Uh. I take really good care of, care of my teeth. Uh, so I'm brushing my teeth, flossing, mouthwash, all that. Probably uh, work out, do some kind of workout, like with playing ball, with like a bunch of push-ups, sit-ups, and all that shit. Then after that, uh, breakfast, shower, make music, studio, and then you know other stuff that may go. And then and then normally. Normally, depending on how the studio session went, drink. That if, if, I, if the studio session was great, then I have a drink. If it was bad, then I'm upset and I go home and figure out how to have a good day the next time so I can have a drink. Um, I want to work with Janae Iko. Yeah, Bry Bryson for sure. Like he, he's tight to me. So we we've done we we've done like one thing, and it was it was it was so so tight. But uh. I, I don't know if it's ever going to be but that's one person. Uh, Drake, of course, Kanye West. Um, Post Malone is tight. I would like to do something with him. Uh, who else? Um, drum, drum actually is, is, is pretty creative and dope to me. I'd like to do something with Drum. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Those are some people. I mean, Beyonce, like people, big people, of course, like that, like Beyonce, like a day or like you want to do stuff like that. But I want to, I don't know, a bunch of people, anybody. My overall vision is literally like now, like just to use music as a tool for me to do greater, and bigger things. Like right now, like 23 years old, Jahan Sweet wants. It. I want 30 year old Jahan Sweet to be like established as a music creator and then also have I want to have an empire of creative people around me to help 
create any idea I want to create, whether it's like music, whether it's like a movie, whether it's scoring a film, whether like any anything, and then I also just want to like be able to find a way, find other ways for friends of mine that make music, like musicians, to find a way to, where they can make money without working the same way that producers do by having royalties and uh, and things like that. Find a way for musicians who are really, really talented to be able to make money while, you know, after playing on records and stuff like that. I don't know how I'm gonna make that work, but I'm gonna figure out how to do it. Um, that's that's somewhat of my vision, like just just have a big creative house and then to find more ways to invest in myself. And you know, shout out to my homies, uh, you know, all my homies back home, all my homies over here, all my homies in NY, Julia R15 to the day I die, uh, tsunami to the day I die, uh, all that, forever, forever.